Welcome to part 29 of the Shadow the Hedgehog Let's Play. And we are about to go through... Well, it, at the, as repetitive as this is going to be, I can still praise Circus Park as being in one of the more interesting levels in the game. I know that might not be saying much, but... But hey, at least we're doing a different mission. Again, it might not be saying much, but whatever. What, the actual game, or...? Um... Uh, you know what? That's a good question. I think when everyone saw the trailer, this was more like an April Fool's joke. At least that's what they thought, but then more and more of the game showed up, and it's like, oh, this is actually a thing. Come on. And if you were a long-time Sonic fan like me, wouldn't this get you curious? It's like, how the fuck are you supposed to take this seriously? Um, well, well, technically, if you are a Let's Player, then you have to Let's Play every game in existence, or at least try to, L or at least LP as much as you can. And so, I honestly think that this game is more of a given. And, or if you just want to go chronologically in order, that makes sense. And, granted, I don't know why the, why the hell I'm doing this. Is, is just put the uh, just put the no just I would just have my face put the donkey over it and just just have the word jackass on it. Yeah, there you go. Shout the hedgehog. Let's play in a nutshell. Yes. As, I mean, it, I mean, they wanted to go something different with this game, but you know, I'm saving. I want to save our final thoughts until, oh, well, like, I would save your final parts for the next one, for part thirty, the next part coming up. So, I know. I mean, I know we stress this all the time in the left in the Let's Play, and I know this would get repetitive, just like this game. How convenient. Maybe this is a homage, after all. You know, it's because there's nothing to talk about in this fucking game. Exactly. He, granted, you could talk about the level, well, the first time, but when you're doing it a second time, or third, or fourth, due to technical problems, at this point, I mean, if you have technical problems, you gotta, you gotta do what you can to man through it. Sure. Hey. But when it comes down to, like, 30 fucking times, then yeah, that's what I'm kind of like, I'm bored of this fucking shit. We just get on with it. I mean, to be fair, when we did it find out, we only did, like, two parts. It's two out of the three parts. So technically, there is another part where... You're not gonna... Well, you technically haven't really seen yet. <laughs> it, and, and there is gonna be some surprises where... where I think you might like. Because there is a certain level coming up that I absolutely despise. Okay, so I decided to cut ahead. I did that for the first... I did that for the first part and I... I did that for the first playthrough, and now I'm doing, and I'm gonna do it here. What level is this? This is Circus Park, I think. No, I mean the one you're cutting out. Um, the the level's name is Lost Impact. Heck, it's another one of those maze levels. Like, remember, like remember that one metallic maze level, or where you said that the exploration was was really bad. Yeah, that one. It's it has a similar, it has the same sort of level trope. 
Well, basically. I take it, it does it worse. Oh, yeah. It does. <laughs> you know, after collecting my 400th ring, I just love how Shadow just stops right in front of the egg pawns. And the egg pawns don't do anything to attack them. You know, I like to think that characters are self-aware of you know, that they know what game they they're in is good or where it's shitty just because of their pay. Yep, and they just look at this thing like, "Ill, come on, player, end this torture. It's horrible." I look like I look at Sonic 06, and I think, like, well, like since Blaze doesn't do anything in that game story, she's just like, you know what? Fuck this shit. I'm out of here. <laughs> here. And that's how Silver's ending came to be. Like, they literally just kill her off in the end. Like, you can cut her out of the story and it wouldn't make much of a difference. Not to mention... Okay, in the story of this game... Like, Shadow was really melodramatic. It's like... I gotta find out about my past. Who am I? Who was I before all this? Yes, even though I'm supposed to be the biggest badass on Earth. I fight aliens. I kill soldiers. There's, even though I'm only three foot tall. <laughs> Oh, but whatever. It, uh, again, at least the video is going fine. Unfortunately, you have to kill all 50 aliens, and we and I can't miss one because if I do, then I have to backtrack through the entire level over again. And, oh, could, God. and just to find that one alien I may have missed. You know, I, I keep saying this, but uh, why couldn't they just put a map or at least a radar? That would have helped. Instead, you have to manually search through the level just to find that one enemy or object I missed. Yes, thank you, Sega. What a great, what, what a great idea to not implement this helpful map or radar. In fact, I actually heard that in early screenshots that the game appeared to have a radar, but then they, but it's like then they decided to scrap it. Good design? What's that? I don't know. Okay, you know what? The radar would have been an issue if they actually did the good objectives. Like, something that actually would have been fun. The objectives in this are basically, go kill a bunch of shit, congratulations, go on to the next objective, fight the same boss over and over and over. There you go, you win the game. Congratulations. There is, like, literally no accomplishment. There is literally nothing about it. It's just out the ass. Well, well, to be fair, there is an accomplishment in this game, but there is a really shitty accomplishment. There's a final story. I, I know I keep saying this. If there wasn't a final story, he, this, wouldn't, this wouldn't be he, worse than it is if there wasn't a final story, but there is. His, every I understand that every ending that you go for is non-canonical. This game is just... Clearly, this game is just here to cash in on the character. Yep. Just... Just just because of the amount of popularity he has. And you know what? If you want to make a game just because of how popular the character is, that's fine. Hey. hey but because of this game, it's a reason why we don't have a... It's there's a reason why there's no Blaze the Cat game. There's a reason why there's no Silver the Hedgehog game. It's because of this game alone. Well, not this game alone, but it's because of this game is why we don't have spin-offs based on other characters. Or at least why we can't play as the other characters anymore. Exactly. Hey, hey, you know what? If you guys, if you like this game, 
that's fine. Hey, I might, I may like some bad games. There are some bad games that I enjoy. Hey, legitimately enjoy. Hey, and there are people that hate them. them. We all have varying opinions. That's what keeps the world alive. Hey, it's variety. Level design that has been thrown at you since playthrough one. Woohoo! Or look, there is the most fun I thing ever, the boss, which totally isn't for you. Woohoo! Like, what can I talk about in this fucking game that isn't rehashed? Yeah. Well, granted, in terms of the Black Bull boss that we did hit fight earlier, actually, last part, we do get to fight again, only this time, it's actually even easier! Yeah. Yeah. Just like just like what I said last part, knock out the alien and then fire away thanks to the automatic targeting system. Well then again, I mean you gotta have challenge near the end of the game, but uh, Yeah, I know, but still. I'm talking for the sake of any video game ever. But that is it for part... That is it for part 29, guys. In part 30, we are going to be doing the last two levels in this game. Ha <laughs> ha!